Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. How are you doing this morning? So we're on day nine with the Reign of David devotional. For those of you who haven't joined before and for those who are back, I really pray that those of you that are listening and run across these videos that they're doing something for your heart and your spirit and speaking to you. They're doing, they're, they're actually speaking to mine, so... All right, uh, so we're going to be reading from 2 Samuel 24, verse 10, and let's pray. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for waking us up this morning, another day to serve you and for our lives to bring you glory. As I read your word and as we listen to your word, I pray, Lord, that all of us would get something from this, that seeds would be planted and other seeds would be watered. And Holy Spirit, Ruach, Hakadesh, you will come and give the increase, as the word says. Oh, Father God, decrease me. And Holy Spirit, Ruach, Hakadesh, increase in me. In Yahshua's name, amen. And David's heart condemned him after he had numbered the people. So David said to the Lord, I have sinned greatly in what I have done. But now I pray, O Lord, Yah, take away the iniquity of your servant, for I have done very foolishly. Joab had tried to warn David not to number the people in 2 Samuel 24, verse 3. David would not listen, which that was read yesterday, by the way. After the census was completed, he realized the gravity of his sin and confessed his sin to Yah. He deeply regretted what he had done, but by now it was too late. He could not reverse the sin he had committed. He could not undo the census. If he'd only listened to Joab's wisdom, he would not have put himself or his people in this regrettable position. The people would once again pay the price for David's pride. Just a thought, do not ignore the leadership of the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKadosh, or the truth of God's word. Listening to God will save you a lot of heartache. Let's talk about that for a little minute. Have you ever done something and then you look back and it's like, oh, God, I really wish I didn't do that. I know I have plenty of times. And to make it even more worse, someone came to you or a sign or maybe you were in the word of God your whole life and just that still small voice said don't don't do it don't do it and you still did it that's a form of pride and that's why the Lord Yah says humble thyself in the sight of the Lord and he will exalt us in due time so with that said Yes, I have actually done quite a few things where I was warned not to, and I did it anyway. It's not for us to beat ourselves up. It's, it's conviction, those of us who love Yah, love Father God and Yahshua. It's conviction to tell us, hey, come to me and repent. Ask for forgiveness, for he is a just and merciful God to cleanse us from all unrighteousness when we come to him. So don't sit in that regret. Don't let pride get you where you don't want to repent. Just humble yourself, ask God to forgive you and look at it as a lesson, not a mistake and move on. And faced with the decision again, or maybe someone else is faced with the decision again, not only can we know the wisdom of not doing the same thing, but we also can share our testimony, which is Yah's testimony, and maybe help someone else go another way. Father God, thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for those of us that can admit that we've done things that we know we shouldn't have. And thank you, Holy Spirit, Rock Hakadesh, for bringing it to us to where we will repent and come to you and ask Father God for forgiveness in Yahshua's name. 
Amen. Have a blessed day. Shalom. If you have any comments, please comment below. If not, take it to your secret place and speak to our Father about it.